in this video, I will show you how to combine OpenAI and Google Sheets to generate infinite ideas for your social posts. Let's go! Here is the end product that we will build today. As you can see, we have on the left some prompts for GPT-3 to generate tweets for us. And on the right, we use our custom formula called GPT-3 to generate in parallel all the tweets corresponding to the prompts on the left. And that's it, we get infinite amounts of AI-generated content. To complete this tutorial, you will need a Google account and an OpenAI API account. The first step is to go to your Google Drive and create a Google Sheet for our infinite AI content project. As we need to access the OpenAI GPT-3 API, we need to generate an API key and use it inside the Sheets to make authenticated calls. We name a column API key in the config Sheets. It will be used later to access it from our AppScript function. AppScript is our secret weapon for automating tasks in Google Workspace app, like Google Sheets, Docs, and Form. We write code in JavaScript and harness the power of Google Server to perform actions on our behalf. In this tutorial, we'll use it to make code to the GPT-3 API and generate text. So we go to OpenAI. We log in, go to the settings in the top right, and click on the View API Keys. From here, we click on Create a new secret key. We copy the value and paste it back in our config sheets under the API key. Now, let's have some fun. We will create a function in AppScript to call GPT-3 and generate text. This function will be available from the Formula tab in our sheets. To do so, click on the Extensions menu, and then on AppScript. You will arrive on a page with an empty function. We replace it with a function that we call GPT-3. It takes two arguments, prompt, which is the text you want to provide as input for the API, and max token, which is the maximum number of token, or words, you want the API to generate in response. The first step in the function is to retrieve the API key from the sheet's name config in our Google Sheets. If you remember, the sheet contained the API key in the cell A2, as we placed it before. Next, we have a JavaScript object named data. It's created to specify the model to use, the prompt, the maximum number of tokens, and other parameters for controlling the API response. The model is set to TextDaVinci003, which is the most powerful at the moment. The temperature and top P parameters are set to control the randomness and quality of the API response. The stream parameter is set to false, to indicate that the API should generate a complete response in one call, rather than streaming multiple responses. We create an option object to specify the request method, content type and payload, and headers for the API call. The request method is set to post, and the content type is set to application JSON. The authorization header is used to authenticate the API call, and thus set to the API key. The API then called using the urlfetchapp.fetch method, passing in the API endpoint and the options object. Then we pass the response from the API into a JavaScript object using json.parse, and we return the text property of the first choice in the choices array of the response returned. We can save and run the script to make sure that we get no errors. It will ask us to allow the script to make external calls on the internet. We allow it since we know the code and we know what we are doing. The next step is to create a second sheet to test our freshly created function. We create a prompt saying, write a tweet about machine learning in a cell. Then we use our formula in the cell on the right. We use the prompt cell as the first argument, and we specify at most 1024 tokens for the generation. We wait a bit, let the magic operate, and we get our shiny AI-generated tweet. Now, if you followed, you noticed that we need prompts to guide GPT-3 generation towards our goal. To get infinite AI content, we need to generate infinite prompts. I will now show you a simple trick to generate massive quantity of prompts for your social medias. First, we create three columns, action, topic, and tone. In action, we paste a bunch of content types. For example, give two qualities about, or ask a question about, or explain one concept about. In the topic column, we pass a bunch of topics we want to talk about, like machine learning, data science, TypeScript, or Rust. And in the tone column, we add different tones to give subtlety to our generation. The idea is now to create a fourth column called prompts that will randomly sample an action, a topic, and a tone to generate tons of prompts in seconds. To do so, we write a formula. It uses the concatenate function that will concatenate write a tweet that with a random action, random topic, and a random tone. To do so, we use the index function coupled with the run between function. Index will get the index randomly sampled by run between and get the value of the cell. And that's it. With this formula, you can generate random tweets or use it as a starting point for any kind of text generation that you want to do in Google Sheets. Now, let's generate our AI content. But first, we need to paste our generated prompt somewhere else before it can be used as input to our AppScript function. When you use the random or run between functions in a cell in Google Sheets, 
the value in that cell will change every time the cheat is recalculated. However, when you call an app script function from a cell in Google Sheets, the input is passed to the function as a static value, and it's not updated when the sheet is recalculated. This means that if you pass a cell that uses random or run between of an input to an app script function, the function will always receive the same value even if the value in the cell changes later. That's why Google Sheets will give you an error if you try to do so. To overcome the problem, we create a sheet called Generation and we copy our generated prompts and use Paste Special Values Only to paste the prompts as text without their associated formula. Then, as when we tested the app script function before, we create a formula in the C column using the GPT-3 function, with first argument the prompt and 256 as the maximum number of tokens generated. Fortunately, it works. We can now unroll the cell and generate content for all the prompts in parallel. Tada! You now have infinite AI generated content for your social media.